Hey guys, my name is Kami Mac and welcome back for another YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be talking about this new controller that I bought. It's called the Evil Shift controller and it's made by the Evil Company. And today I'm just going to be giving you my initial thoughts on it, what I think about the controller, and how I like it. So right after this kill, and uh, here we go. So right now I'm going to throw up some video of the controller on screen right now. So as you can see on screen now, this is my brand new Evil Shift controller. So what I decided to go for was the blue splash camo with the white button lettering. With the white white buttons on the controller itself and it's also got the left thumbstick medium sized and the right thumbstick as a larger size so the reason I decided to go for this was because I've always used control freaks in the past so it just felt natural that I should get the right stick bigger than the left one and so far I've really enjoyed using it and it's helped a lot with my aim and I would definitely recommend it. And as you can see from the back, I decided to go with the blue grip camo, which I really enjoy. I found that it helped a lot with the sweatiness of the controller. So whenever I was holding a controller before, it always used to get slippery after I was playing it for a long period of time. So now I find that the grip, my hands actually don't get sweaty, which is really nice. I also decided to go for the four back paddles on the controller which I have found super useful for myself and I'm going to talk about all my keybinds for my back four controllers or my back four buttons on the controller later on in the video so stay tuned for those and that's pretty much it for the aesthetics of my controller. So now I'm going to move on to some of the initial thoughts I had about this controller. So the first one my first initial initial thought that I had as soon as I unboxed this controller was wow this is probably the lightest controller I have ever held in my life and the reason the controller is so light is because the rumbles come removed automatically from these types of controllers so I didn't even know that the rumbles were going to be removed until I started playing but as soon as I started playing the game I realized that there was no vibration at all with the controller which helps in most ways but it can also be a disadvantage if it was something that you were used to as you could have played that way your whole life but overall that's just one of the things that i had to get used to with this controller and that was one of the minor ones so the next thing i noticed with this controller is that it is not as easy as it looks to use so the way i found this out is that uh I have never used any sort of back controller paddles before and this was my first time ever using anything like that. So I found out that it's very difficult to start using your pinky after playing 10 years of video games and trying to use your left hand pinky to try and jump with. So that was a fun obstacle to overcome. But I also found myself repeatedly clicking the X button, even though I had the buttons on the back to uh, press. So I just continuously pressed the X button in almost every situation. There, I had about 10 years of muscle memory after playing Call of Duty and just any sort of shooter games like that. So while I'm on the topic of jumping, I'm just going to go over... Uh, my initial thoughts and my thoughts now on the whole jumping mechanic with the back paddles. So in the beginning, it was probably the hardest thing ever to learn how to use the rear button to uh, figure out how to jump. And I just found myself pressing X as I said before. But now, after about three weeks of consistently forcing myself to press the back buttons, I have pretty much mastered the back jump button and now th now that I can use it I find it a lot easier than pressing the X button because I don't have to slow my movement by taking my thumb off the joystick and pressing X 
and it definitely improves my aim while jumping and aim in general. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to explain what each of my buttons does and how easy I find them to press. So the first button I'm going to be going over is this one. This button I have binded to my jump button or also my X button. So this button on my controller is probably the easiest button to press. That's why I assigned it to the X button. So the next button I'm going to go over is this button right here. This button I have binded to my left D-pad button. So the reason that I binded this one is due to the fact that I always found it a struggle to switch between materials and switching between traps and launch pad and bouncers. So I just figured that I'd switch it to this button and I found it helps a lot and I don't have to stall my movements as much when I switch between them. I also find this button very easy to press just like the previous button. So this button right here, I have decided to bind this to the square button. And the reason that I decided to bind it to this button was so that I could reload easier. And I don't use the square button to pick up items, I just use it to uh, reload. I also find this button kind of hard for me to press personally. Because of the way I hold the controller at an angle, I am unable to press the two buttons on this side as easily. So this last button right here, I actually don't have it binded to anything. So if you guys have any ideas for what button should be binded to this last button on the back of my controller, please let me know in the comments section. So overall, would I recommend this controller? Yes, I would, for these main three reasons. First of all, I find the buttons a lot easier to press than a normal controller. All of the input feels a lot cleaner and smoother than your average controller. Second of all, the aim while jumping is probably one of the most effective and useful features about this controller and it can definitely help in a variety of different games. So in Fortnite, I find that it really helps in build fights, being able to keep your thumbsticks on both triggers while build battling and shooting at other players. And thirdly, it increases your options. With four buttons on the back, you can bind them to any button on the controller. It's super easy to bind them to any button and I find that it's super useful. There's four buttons that can be binded to any button. In Fortnite, there's a lot of different buttons that you need to be able to click. And I find the four back buttons help a lot with this. You can have one button for reloading, one for switching between materials, one for jumping, one for building. There's so many different options that you can give yourself. And eventually, if Fortnite brings the feature that you can use the additional back buttons to auto click to the walls and ramps and floors then this type of controller will be perfect for that because it has four back paddles that you could have could use for all four of the different types of buildings or different types of platforms you can build and i already know what i would do if this feature was added to fortnite what i would do I would set the wall, ramp, and floor to three of the buttons, and I would also keep one of my buttons binded to my X button so that I could still be able to jump easily. And I feel like this would be the best setup for this controller. And if this feature were to come to Fortnite, then this controller, by far, I've, in my personal opinion, unless there's any other controllers with four back paddles, this would be the best possible controller you could have for Fortnite. So overall, I would really recommend this controller. I have used it for about three to four weeks now, and I have really enjoyed it, and it has definitely helped me become a better Fortnite player than I feel like I was previously. And I'm just continuously improving with this controller, and I will continue to do so over time. 
I'm obviously not a pro with it yet as uh, I've only had it for three weeks and there's been people with controllers like these for a long time. But evil controllers are one of the controllers that you don't see very many YouTubers or pro players using. So I'd like to see if anyone else in this community is using evil controllers. If you are, please let me know down in the, sh down in the comments below. And I will also have the link to the evil controller down in my description too. So if you want to go get one, try one out for yourself. Please feel free to do so. And if you really enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like rating and subscribe if you're new. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.